this so we are using the critical value method the first step is to solve the inequality so i mean um solve the equation so we treat the inequality as an equation we replace the um, sign with the equal sign so now uh, we solve two equations S just let the left hand side always positive and the right hand side can be positive or negative so when it's positive this is what we get when it's negative we multiply by negative and then we expand this is 2x minus 6 and uh, we um, so we just add 5x to both sides we have 7x and we add 6 to both sides so we have 8 and then we divide both sides by 7 we get the first solution to the equation and we expand again for the second equation minus 2x minus 2 minus 3 plus 6 and then we add 5x to both sides again we get 3x and subtract 6 from both sides we get minus 4 and divide both sides by 3 we get the other solution now since we have absolute value on only one side we have to check our solutions to the equation so we plug in just use a calculator and for the 8 over 7 you replace this x and this x with 8 over 7 just like this and on the left we get something negative on the right don't forget to use the absolute value symbol the abs button in the calculator and you will get something positive so they are not the same so this is rejected this solution cannot be used and for the minus 4 thirds again we plug in and we get exactly the same on the left and on the right which means we can use this solution so we have only one critical value back to the inequality draw a number line put the critical value on the number line so this means we have two possible intervals for the solution we can use the left hand side which is smaller than minus 4 over 3 or the right hand side which is bigger than um, minus 4 over 3 okay so we have two possible intervals to know which interval we can use plug in a random number in each interval something smaller than minus 4 over 3 for example minus 10 plug in to the inequality so replace this x and this x with minus 10 just like this don't forget to use the absolute value function or the abs function in the calculator so on the left we get 52 on the right we get 26 52 is greater than 26 just like the inequality so this means we can use this interval so we can use this interval but for the right interval when we plug in something greater than minus 4 over 3 such as 10 we will get something negative on the left so minus 48 is of course not greater than 14 which means we cannot use this interval so the final answer is x is less than minus 4 thirds all right i'll see you again next time